Getting a test during today's earthquake, California's early alert system. Joining us live now is Robert DeGroote with USGS. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello. Hi. Good. Uh, first of all, how did the system perform today? Did it do okay? Absolutely. It performed exactly as designed. And, and much like the earthquake back in September in Santa Rosa, this is just another case where Shake Alert is doing exactly what it should be doing. Can you explain to us a little bit how it works? Who gets an alert and what determines how much notice they actually get? Sure. The Shake Alert system works like the basically earthquakes are detected in the field by seismometers. Information is moved within seconds to a processing center, and then we provide information about the estimated size, the location, and how much shaking that could happen around that quake. We provide that to providers, alert providers like MyShake, and they take that information and they determine where to deliver it. So in the case of MyShake, they would be delivering alerts to people who could feel an intensity three or higher. And what an intensity three is like, it's kind of like a heavy truck passing by your house, that sensation. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever felt that, that's, what, that's where they will deliver alerts to people. And so we know that a lot of people got alerts uh, from MyShake and other, other alert providers today. Well, how much notice did folks get? Was it a couple of seconds? Was it yeah. as much as five seconds? Yeah, that's a really good question, and, and it really partially depends on how far you're away from the earthquake. So if you're right. super close to San Jose, maybe you got the, the alert as you were feeling shaking or maybe just after you felt shaking, but farther away from the epicenter of the earthquake, people got some, some time to, to take that protective action, drop cover and hold on before shaking arrived. And, and that's really what we want to tell people is that if you feel shaking or if you get an alert to drop cover and hold on. Yeah, it's amazing technology. So how do you think an earthquake like this can help you in the future when in, ter when in terms of the shake alert? Well, this, this is really important. So last week we had the great shake out on mm -hmm. Thursday at 1020. And so, I mean, I was listening to the student who was talking earlier, who was taking the chemistry exam. And it was interesting because having that opportunity to practice is really important. And we see these earthquakes like these magnitude fives as an opportunity to practice. I mean, there will continue to be earthquakes in California. There are like 50 earthquakes a day in California. And so this is just a reminder that yes, earthquakes do happen. We live in earthquake country. And, and it's a chance for you to, to download that, that ShakeAlert powered app on your phone and get ready for it and get all of your supplies ready and, and be ready for the next quake. I'm curious because this technology is so revolutionary. What's the ultimate goal? Is the ultimate goal to be able to predict an earthquake possibly minutes ahead of it actually hitting? That's, that's always been a very difficult task for scientists. Sure. And right now what we've done a very good job, job of is detecting earthquakes the moment they reach the surface. So this earthquake started at about four, five miles depth. It took about a second for the first seismic waves to reach the surface. We picked that up right away and moved that information along and make information available so that providers like MyShake or Quake Alert USA or even Google can deliver alerts within seconds. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable. All right, Robert yes. DeGroote with the USGS, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, take care.